Well guys, this is Captain Alex Mason here, and today we're going to be actually, instead of going through the rest of the logs, we're just going to do all the planet systems and stuff. So start. we'll start with the center of our solar system, the Sun, also known as Sol. Sol, the star around which the solar system turns, is a sphere of hot plasma since the advent of peak oil and the climate crisis, its energy has proved insufficient for Earth's rising energy needs given current solar energy collection technologies. Requiring, er, requiring settlements throughout the solar system to send fuel back to Earth to maintain its geoengineered climate. Temperature 5,504 degrees Celsius. Composition hydrogen, helium, oxygen, and carbon. Okay. Mercury Cluster contains the planet Mer Mercury and all satellites within its gravitational sphere of influence. Entirely under UNSA control, this sector is primarily controlled by China-based interests. Of course they would be, because China. They love Mercury, and all the chemicals and stuff we're no longer allowed to use. Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system and orbits closest to the sun. It is also one of the most recent planets to be settled. Despite its proximity to Earth, heat shielding posed a problem. China was the first UNSA member country to establish a facility, primarily automated with minimal life support for a human skeleton crew. Distance from the sun, 0.47 AU slash 69.8 million kilometers. Day length, 175.9 days. Year length, 88 days. Temperature, negative... Really? Negative? Negative 173 degrees Celsius to 427 degrees Celsius. Atmospheric composition, primarily oxygen, sodium, and hydrogen. Uh, next. The Venus Cluster contains the planet Venus and all satellites within its gravitational sphere of influence. This is UNSA controlled areas provides de deuterium based fuel for many UNSA outposts. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, I'll probably look that up later. Venus, the second planet from the Sun. Venus rotates in the opposite direction from most other planets. Venus has attracted two types of colonies. Firstly, it's Deuterium, deuterium filled atmosphere led to the establishment of multiple collection planets to provide fuel for to other outposts. Second, its lack of planetary magnetic field has attracted engineers and researchers making and utilizing high precision electronics. Distance from Sun, 0.73 AU, 108.9 million kilometers, day length 116 days, 18 hours, year length 225 days, temperature 462 degrees Celsius atmospheric composition, primarily carbon dioxide, which is pretty nasty shit. Uh, of course, we can forget Earth. Contains the planet Earth and all satellites within its gravitational sphere of influence. This area is, primary, is the primary seat of the UNSA power. Um, Earth, seat of the UNSA and home to a majority of the solar system's population, also the primary shut up phone client of mining and industrial operations system wide. Despite terraforming efforts on Mars, this remains the only planet hospitable for life. Distance from Sun, 1 AU, which is one th or one million four hundred or one hundred forty nine million five hundred five hundred ninety eight thousand kilometers day length twenty four hours year length three hundred sixty five days and possibly three sixty six depending on leap year which they don't mention temperature sixteen degrees Celsius is the average temp atmospheric composition. 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 0.9% argon. Luna. The moon is Earth's only, only natural satellite. It is the home of the gateway. 
the main port for people, products, and resources being transported to Earth from across the solar system. After arrival at Gateway, the final leg of the journey is undertaken via orbital lift platform. Day length, 27.3 days. Temperature, 123 degrees Celsius to negative 150 degrees Celsius. Composition, none. I don't actually mention anything about belts, which I'm kind of surprised. So, this one I actually didn't know about before. Ceres. The dwarf planet Ceres resides within the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. While it is not minim uh, mineral rich, its size and internal ocean has made it the ideal staging grounds for the mining of the surrounding asteroids. Ceres is currently designated a UNSA territory, but every time its orbit crosses within the set def no fly zone, the Earth must sit and wait to find out if it will emerge still under their control. Distance from Sun, 2.98 AU, 445 million kilometers. Day length, 9 hours. Year length, 4.6 years. Temperature, negative 105 degrees Celsius. Composition, none. So much. Grandma's coming over in a few minutes. Oh, great. Mars dwindling. Energy and rare earth resources on er, on Earth led to Mars colonial Mars's colonialization and terraforming. Thirty years ago, the Settlement Defense Front, a brutal insurgent group, led a coup that resulted in the extermination of all Earth loyalists on Mars. They formed their own military junta, if I'm pronouncing that right, and instituted martial law planet-wide. After the loss of Mars, the countries of Earth formed the UNSA to help facilitate diplomacy in space trade since the Succession War. Resource trade continues fueled by Earth's need for energy and Mars's need for weapons and technology. After years of military buildup by the set def and repeated reports of human rights violations on Mars, Certain countries instituted trade sanctions against Mars. The SETDEF saw this as an attack on their sovereignty and led directly to their invasion of Geneva. Distance from Sun, 1.52 AU, 227.9 million kilometers. Day length, 1 day, 40 minutes. Year length, 687 days. Temperature, 20 degrees Celsius to one, negative 100 25 degrees Celsius atmospheric composition carbon dioxide. Mars cluster contains planet Mars and all satellites within its gravitational sphere of influence. This area is the center of settlement defense or er, defense front operations. It is buffered by a large no-fly zone. Phobos, one of their moons, unlike planets which generally contain difficult to extract metals such as iron ore. Phobos simply has lumps of metallic iron and nickel, making it extremely simple and cost-effective for the set def to mine the metals necessary for warship construction. This competitive advantage led to the construction of Geosynchron... Geosynchronos Orbital Shipyard that provided shipbuilding services to the entire solar system until the outbreak of the Succession War. Day length, 7 hours, 39 minutes. Temp averaged to negative 40.15 degrees Celsius. No composition. Deimos. The solar-powered mining stations on Deimos generate valuable metal resources to send down the gravity well to Mars. The these outposts also serve as spaceports and refueling stations for flights coming back from and going to the Martian surface. Day length 1.3 days, average temp of negative 40 degrees Celsius, and no atmospheric composition. Okay, and here we are to Jupiter. Contains planet Jupiter and satellites within its gravitational... I'm just gonna skip that intro if it's the same. Entirely under UNSA control, this area has been leveraged by the countries of the UNSA to establish their own facilities on each of the many available moons. The hydrogen helium filled atmosphere of the Jovian planet is an enormous boon to the UNSA. It provides 
the majority of Earth's fuel needs. Without access to the resources of Jupiter, Earth's geoengineered atmosphere would, click, would quickly collapse, leading to mass crop failure and starvation worldwide. Holy shit. Distance from the sun, 5.46 AU, 778.5 million kilometers. Day length, 9 hours, 56 minutes. Year length, 12 years. Temperature, negative 145 degrees Celsius, and its composition of hydrogen and helium. I think that's pronounced EO. The driest object in the solar system, EO is also sometimes referred to as home of the mad scientists. It, it has earned this nickname because without over 400 active volcanoes, most research facilities established on EO found themselves near inside or an active inside of an active volcano. Day length of 1.8 days. Temperature is negative 163.1 degrees Celsius. Atmospheric comp 90% sulfur dioxide. And Europa, the smallest of Jupiter's Galilean moons. Europa is one of the the few planetoids aside from Earth where frozen and liquid water can be found naturally. This made Europa a very con contentious settlement during the initial expansion into the Jupiter cluster. The UNSA claims that they banned individual nation settlements on the satellite to bring the conflict to a peaceful resolution. However, the UNSA interests on Europa continue to remain classified because it was a classified weapons facility on that planet. Day length of 3.6 days, temp of negative 171.2 degrees Celsius, atmospheric comp, oxygen and hydrogen. Now, wait a minute. It's got oxygen on there. How come we can't breathe? Ganymede? Jupiter's largest moon is home to the UAE's aerospace engineering facilities. These factories developed the first iteration of the Jackal space faring fighter and continues to develop new and improved versions to this day. Uh, it's day length of 7.2 days, temp negative 163 degrees Celsius, and comprised of oxygen, or composed of oxygen, or composition of oxygen. I don't know. Callisto. Callisto is tidally locked to Jupiter's meaning, or er, meaning that the same hemisphere is always facing towards the planet. This feature, along with its subsurface liquid water, caused Callisto to be the only Jupiter satellite settled primarily as civilian communities. Day length of 16.7 days. Uh, temp is negative 139 degrees Celsius. Atmospheric comp. Molecular oxygen and carbon dioxide. Okay, so what's this? Titan. Uh, Titan is the largest moon of Saturn captured two years ago by Settlement Defense Front. Titan's methane lakes provide a primary fuel supply to the set def fleet. Day length of 15.85 days. Temp negative 179 degrees Celsius. Atmospheric comp, 98.4% nitrogen, 1.4% methane, and 0.1 to 0.2% hydrogen. And this is the Saturn cluster. Um, this area has been contested since the Settlement Defense Front annexed Titan two years ago, which we now have. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. It is a gas giant, the second largest in the solar system after Jupiter. Aerostat's buoyant buoyant in the atmosphere were used by the UNSA to collect hydrogen and helium-3 from nuclear propulsion prior to the opening of set def hostilities. Distance from Sun, 9.6 AU, 1.433 billion kilometers. Uh, d day length, 10 hours, 42 minutes. Year length, 29 years. Temp, 168 degrees Celsius. Atmospheric comp, primarily hydrogen and helium. And now let's look at some of the other 
Rhea, I think is pronounced, is the second smallest body in the solar system after the dwarf planet Ceres. It sustains an internal liquid water ocean through heating by the radiation of Saturn. Day length, 4.52 days. Temp, negative 174 degrees Celsius to negative 220 degrees Celsius, and no atmospheric comp. Dione, composed of silicate rock and water ice. Dione is, or has a small amount of O2 molecules forming a tenuous atmosphere around it. The highly charged particles from Saturn's powerful radiation belt spilt um, the water in, t in the ice into ox or hydrogen and oxygen, providing ready-made air and fuel resources for set dev outposts. Uh, day length, 2.74 days. Average temp is 186 degrees Celsius. And com atmospheric comp of oxygen and hydrogen. Enceladus. Cryovolcanoes on the surface of Enceladus exude plumes similar in composition to comets, which are the source of the material in Saturn's furthest ring. Geysers and snow define the geologically active moon. Day length of 1.37 days. Average temp is 186 degrees Celsius and comprised of oxygen and hydrogen. Tethys? The surface of Tethys is discovered in nanophase iron and hematite. Aside from these materials, the moon is made up of almost entirely of water and ice, making it the least demised or dense moon in the solar system. 1.8 89 days, negative 107.15 degrees Celsius, and no composition. Mimis. A slightly less than... At slightly less than the land area of Spain, Mimis is the smallest spherical moon in the solar system. Its gravity is 0 .008 times as much as Earth's. Day length of 23 hours, temp of negative 209.15 degrees Celsius, and no composition. Iapetus? I don't know. Iapetus is the third largest moon of Saturn. Of all the moons of Saturn, Iap Iapetus has the most dramatic view of Saturn's rings, which made it a sightseeing destination for tourists until the set def takeover of the Saturn cluster. Day length of 79.33 days, temp of negative 183.15 degrees Celsius to or negative 143 degrees Celsius, and no atmospheric comp. Okay, I know that's... Eris. A dwarf planet, Eris is covered in methane ice. This would normally make it Extremely attractive as a fuel collection site. Due to Eris's extreme distance from the Earth and Mars, there are very limited periods in Eris's orbits where the gathering and transportation of methane reserves would yield more methane than travel than the travel would use. Distance from Sun, 96.3 AU, 14.4 billion kilometers. Day length of 25.9 hours. Year length, 550. 58 years, temp, negative 231 degrees Celsius, and no atmospheric composition. Ur Uranus, or Uranus? The atmosphere of Uranus is the coldest in the solar system. It was a major provider of helium-3 fuel prior to the Charon Accords, which forbade expansion into the furthest extents of the solar system. Despite Earth's desperate need for an alternative fuel supply, the UNSA seeded this cluster in hope of peace with the set death. Distance from the Sun is 19.2 AU, 2.877 billion kilometers. Day length of... 17.25 hours, year length of 84 years, temperature of negative 216 degrees Celsius, atmospheric comp, hydrogen, helium, water, methane, and ammonia. Um, is the gravitational sphere of... 
Uh, the Uranus Cluster is also known as the mud in military circles. While some claim it, it got this name from the UNSA and Settlement Defense Front's inability to get solid footing in the region, it is more likely a scatological reference to the cluster's name. Oh, wait a minute. Uranus. Really? Come on. Even in this game, you serious right now? We can't we can't be normal. Oh my god. Whatever. Ariel. Ariel was used as a base for human supervision of the robotic helium-3 fuel harvesting from the atmosphere of Uranus. The base was evacuated after a diplomatic agreement with SETDEF ceded UNSA control of the fuel resources. In this cluster, some colonists refused to leave their homes and were summarily, summarily executed by SETDEF. Day length of 60 hours. Temperature of negative 200 degrees Celsius and no atmospheric comp. Oberon, a floating city, w was under construction in orbit around Oberon for intended deployment into the atmosphere of Uranus. After the UNSA left this cluster, the city was abandoned, half-built. It is rumored that the SETDEF have since occupied the incomplete husk. Day length of 13.5 days. Temperature of a negative 193 degrees Celsius to negative 203 degrees Celsius and no atmospheric comp. Umbriel. Umbriel is the site of a mirror concentration array for solar power to be supplied to the robotic helium-3 fuel harvesting aerostats in Uranus's atmosphere. The extreme distance from the sun means that little solar energy reaches this remote cluster, necessitized or necessitized necessitating solar power enhancement tech. Day length of 4.144 days, negative 200 degrees, or negative 200 degrees Celsius and no atmospheric comp. Titania. This moon was the site of a Ber... Ber... Bergen... Bergonian... Uh, UNSA settlement. When hostilities with set death spilled into the outer planets, however, the Front chose to make an example of the colonists here. Their frozen corpses were never recovered. Wow! These guys are worse than Hitler! Granted, this is a video game, so they're not ruling anything to chance, but Hitler is still arguably the worst piece of shit on Earth. I'm glad he's dead. Moving on. Day length of 8.7 days. Temperatures average to be negative 203 degrees Celsius. Atmospheric comp, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and methane. Miranda is Uranus, or er, Uranus's smallest moon. Its low density and extreme seasonal cycles have made the moon more of a nuisance to establishing satellites orbiting Uranus than a valid location for s facilities of any sort. Day length of 1.41 days, temperature of negative 213 degrees Celsius, and no atmospheric comp. Uh, Neptune. Uh, the, Sharn er, the Sharn Accords that ended the succession wars forbade expansion into the cluster containing planet Neptune and the satellites within its gravitational influence. This forced the UNSA to abandon several satellites, bases, and under construction projects in the region. Recent Unconfirmed intel hints that the Settlement Defense Front beginning to expand into this area despite the Accords. Because cause nobody follows the rules. Neptune quickly attracted settlers seeking to harvest helium-3 from its atmosphere. Orbital stations were constructed above Neptune's atmosphere in order to harvest its helium. But colonists raised their families upon Triton's surface, the lag-range asteroids, Sharing the planet's orbit provided resources to not only build facilities, but their economy as well, despite the fact that the colonists had to live within shielded homes to avoid radiation. Settlers living on Triton found life to be fairly comfortable until they were forced to escape from set death raids. Distance from Sun, 30.1 slash... or 30.1 AU, 4.4... 9.8 billion kilometers, day length of 16 hours and 6 minutes, uh, year length 163.7 years, 
temperature of negative 214 degrees Celsius, atmospheric comp of 80% hydrogen, 19% helium, and 1.5% methane. And Triton. Triton's icy nitrogen geyser covered surface conceals a subsurface or ocean composed of ammonia and water. Tapping the geothermal